Everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to place items in grid areas using the grid area property. After creating an areas template for your grid container, as shown in the previous challenge, you can change, you can place an item in your custom area by referencing the name you gave it. To do this, use grid area property on an item like this. So we say item one, the grid area is called header. Interesting. This lets the grid know that you want the item one class to go in the area named header. Cool. In this case, the item will use the entire top row because that whole row is named as the header area. So they're saying because this whole header area, if we put a cell with a grid area of header, this one will, will span the whole area. So we want to place an element with the item 5 class in the footer area using grid area. So if we, item 5 is this guy, and we can just say, um, we want to say grid area, and we want to set that to footer. And then this pale green one covers the space of all that. Oh, I see why this is important now. So because we have the grid area of footer, 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 that gives us the, we're able to lay it out using this grid area, get grid template area. Okay, cool. So now we're sort of building an interesting web page using this uh, technology. Okay, well, let's run the test. Looks like they passed. Okay, great. I hope this one helps you guys. This makes the last video seem, um, make more sense. So um, yeah, just once again, if, if we were to change this to header, it would make it so that this, um, this uh, item five with the pale green takes up the whole space at the top. Now what we could also make it um, advert and it would just take up where um, position one is. And then if we were to make it um, content, it would take up this position. So header, 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 header. And by default, anything that doesn't have a grid positioning is obviously, it seems like it's just gonna stay in its um, place. So yeah, the way, what they're doing here is creating a, a way for you to lay out web pages um, really efficiently, I think. But we want to put it back to footer and then we've got, um, well, what's looking more and more like an actual website. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson.